Hello Arin, our taste congratulations for your success at IIT J. Thank you. Uh, would like to know about your journey of these two years now to reach to IIT Delhi. Hmm. So basically, uh, I got recommended with Dalanka classes in 10th standard towards the end of my 10th. Uh, and then I really found it fascinating because the class was also, the batch size was usually smaller than the other batches. So I thought that uh, it, we would have a lot of personal attention. So I decided to join with Dalanka classes. Initially, it was a bit difficult for me because the 10th inertia mm -hmm. we carried to 11th. But then slowly, slowly things got better. And uh, the whatever I used to follow, I used to follow it periodically over the course of time. And then it got this. As you started getting your scores in the test, mm -hmm. you gained confidence, yes, right? Yes. That yes, you can achieve so. That's mm -hmm. great. Can you explain your study plan? I mean, how many hours you used to study for these two years? So I had classes from 10.30 to 1. Hmm. So I used to usually sit to study at 3 o'clock after everything. Whatever sir had taught me at that uh, in that uh, class, mm -hmm. I used to first revise that, mm -hmm. and I used to do the modules plus engage illustrations for that particular topic. And then uh, it depended how much time it took. Huh. If it took relatively less time, then I used to work on my backlogs. Huh. And if it took a lot of time, then I used to uh, wake up early the next morning and then fo uh, focus on my backlog. So it's basically regular and consistent study mm -hmm. will take yes. you you know to this stage yes, yes. and uh, can you uh, tell us about your approach towards individual subject were you good at all three subjects or all three were favorite so How it was? for me chemistry was like not that favorite because there was a lot of theoretical stuff mm -hmm. involved. but physics and maths i have studied like throughout the two years properly mm -hmm. so for physics and maths what my main uh, go to was that i used to first do i used to first go through the theory mm -hmm. both in the module with the Lankar modules and the notes that sir gave me mm -hmm. then i used to first in order to get a hang of the chapter i used to first look at the illustrations in the same book and then i used to move on to the modules okay for or the, especially the problem for practice. Okay. So they helped me to level up my uh, physics and mathematics. Okay. For chemistry, I uh, for chemistry initially I showed a lot of laziness. Hmm. In, ex, ex, except for physical chemistry, I did not study that much, hmm. which I think was a mistake in, upon my part. Hmm. But towards the end, I the the, I, the maximum was I dedicated to chemistry. Chemistry. Hmm. And then I, it was then fine. But yes. I would suggest that you should give equal amount of weightage to all the three subjects. Yes, weightage in terms of uh, time mm -hmm. and even uh, you know like yes. uh, your comfort uh, yes. zone because uh, if you are able to score well in chemistry that really mm -hmm. helps to boost really your helps, uh, rank. Uh, Arin, we had conducted number of tests in these two years. Mm -hmm. So how was your approach towards taking these tests and uh, uh, how did you feel the level of difficulty in the test? Vis-a-vis your final uh, JE exam. So, so my portion for the given UTP or FLT used to be finished before the UTP itself. Mm -hmm. So I used to give the test for revision purposes because uh, the faculty used to be two to three chapters ahead of mm -hmm. the test which mm -hmm. was taken. So I used to, it was a very good uh, source for me for revision. So we had tests on Saturday, so uh, Sundays. So mm -hmm. on that Saturday, the preceding Saturday, I used to study for the test like everything, mm -hmm. revision and mm -hmm. all. And then I used to take the test. Uh, the difficulty wise, initially, as every institute should be, the tests were relatively easier mm -hmm. in order to gain the confidence. And mm -hmm. slowly, slowly, when we got uh, accustomed with the time format, uh, the difficulty kept on uh -huh. rising a bit, but it didn't feel much because our level was also consistently gained. Uh -huh. And then towards the end, when the final FLTs were conducted huh. for advance, they were way difficult in advance. But that's a plus point because in advance, it happens that due to the time pressure and all the other things, yes, the an atmosphere around yes. you, even an easy question feels a bit tough to you. So if you have accustomed yourself with a very difficult test, then it won't be a problem in advance. For your final examination. Final, because the feeling is already known to you. Known to you, that's it. That's great. Uh, what tips you would like to give to now JE aspirants? Means, uh, uh, what all mistakes they should avoid? So consistency is the key to hmm. success. That's the first thing I would like to say. 
वॉट एवर यूर शेड्यूल इज स्टिक टू इट एंड स्टडी आर ट्राई टू लाइक देर नो स्पेसिफिक लाइक आंसर टू हाउ मेनी आर यू शुड स्टडी इट वेरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन बट इन लेवेंथ इफ आई वो वॉज टू गिव अ फेयर आइडिया देन इलेवेंथ वेन इट जस्ट स्टार्ट try to study 6 to 7 hours a day hmm, hmm. and then slowly slowly increase Increasing. it according to your convenience and yes. it's a big span of 2 years right yes. so yes. there are number of ups and downs mm-hmm. it happens with every yes. student so even with you mm-hmm. so how did you keep yourself motivated uh it, it see you are going to have good and bad results it's a part and parcel mm-hmm. of life the only thing is that uh, if you have a very good result you should not become over confident about mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. and if you have a very bad result you should not become very under confident about mm-hmm. it if you have a very good result you should keep in mind what you did in that test to have such a good result and then continue with it hmm. if you have a very bad result you should think about what you did in that test which you shouldn't repeat exactly so uh, the analysis part of hmm. the test uh, did it help you yes it did help me because especially the time taken for each question hmm. usually what we do is we start the paper and then suddenly Uh, out of nowhere, a tough question comes. Yes. Then we it's like it's like a trap question. Yes. Hmm. Uh, we might do the temperament, and then future the entire paper goes in way. Right. So I would say that uh, analysis is very important, especially the how much time you are hmm. giving for the test based question. Hmm. The Vidyalankar is also provides the difficulty of the question, like hmm. was it a easy question, medium question, or hard question. So you can just see that okay, this was a hard question, and I spent so much time on it. And I missed a easy or a medium question. Mm-hmm. Then you will realize that okay, so what I have to do is first have to scan through the paper, so look at the easy questions for solve them, but then medium, and then once I get warmed up, I'll do the hard question. Exactly. So this is what analysis taught me, along with many other things like yes. theoretical points. Right, right, right. So uh, it was very nice uh, having mm-hmm. interaction with you, Arun. So you. thank you very much, and all the very best for your four years now at IIT Delhi. Thank you, ma'am.